Good evening, everyone. Three Clark County sergeants are off the job tonight, and it's because of this video. You're looking at a former sheriff's employee drunk and needing help. It's what the three sergeants did not do that sparked this firing. Carol Kelly Mays live to show us why. Well, Jack and Deb, Gene Kelly, the sheriff here, fired those sergeants today after what happened in this lobby back in May. That former deputy you just saw in that video came in here visibly intoxicated, stumbling, actually passed out on this bench, also urinated on a floor. It was caught on video by someone else in this lobby, but before he did that, he came here to this window to ask for help, and it's what those sergeants didn't do again that has them in trouble. Tonight, we found out why. I've been trying to help you, boy. Come on, get yourself up. Former Deputy Christopher Dent on a drunken tirade, urinating, passing out. But first, he asked for help. He was in the lobby for two hours before help was rendered. Sheriff Gene Kelly says here's who didn't help him. Sergeants Krista Cox, Carrie Taylor, and Eric Sullivan, all with almost a decade experience on the force, now fired. I hired every one of these people. I know every one of these three individuals, and it is a sad day when you have to terminate employees. Here's why. When Dent came stumbling in, reports from the incident say Krista Cox was first to see him, but passed it off, ignoring what was happening, her former colleague, who needed help because it was close to shift change. Then Carrie Taylor, working around the corner, was made aware and also did nothing. Eric Sullivan stopped other deputies and a nurse from trying to help Dent. We have taken an oath to serve and protect this community, and that should have happened that night. Dent was eventually arrested for disorderly conduct two hours after he came in. So an investigation was started into the sergeant's neglect. Decisions to repeatedly do nothing, headed up by Clinton County, who found Cox, Taylor, and Sullivan all guilty of violating at least 10 codes of conduct. Christopher Dent was in there stumbling drunk. I tried to stop him from falling over a few times right in front of the sheriff's window. They're all in there like it's a joke. This community can have full confidence that we will investigate our own, that we will take the appropriate action if necessary. And in this case, the three sergeants are being held responsible. Back out here live, I'm told that all three of those sergeants did turn in their gear today. Two of them are appealing this firing, and it's likely the third one will as well. Now, Clinton County, who headed up this investigation, actually, in their reports, compared this case to what happened in Baltimore with Freddie Gray because those officers decided not to act, and it resulted in something that didn't look so good. Reporting live here in Springfield tonight, Kelly May, Fox 45now.com.